RTRR is QNAP's powerful feature that is the ultimate time-saving backup solution for you to back up multiple files and folders to a remote NAS or an external drive in real time. Although NAS does a great job of storing sensitive and private files, you would imagine that if anything were to happen, those files could also disappear. That is where RTRR comes in. You would either set up to do a replication job to a remote NAS somewhere else other than your house or your office, or to a local folder of an external drive connected to the NAS. With RTRR, the source Turbo NAS will monitor the files and synchronize the changes to the destination server. IT administrators can do backup tasks by instant backup and scheduled backup, with compression and SSH encryption options supported. The replication job can be scheduled or replicated in real time, so you can have a peace of mind knowing your files are being backed up in a given schedule, let's say every Tuesday or every day at 5 o'clock. This feature is also very useful for a business standpoint as if you had a main office and need to see reports of branch offices, coordinating all the branch offices to maintain the most updated version of a particular file. As you can see in this diagram, when changes to the files are detected, the NAS replicates the file to the remote NAS immediately. Headquarter or main office will keep the same copy of data. The NAS and the branch offices can be configured as a remote backup server for disaster recovery. Completing the status will give you many advantages. Your info will be backed up by external drive by USB or eSATA. RTR data integrity check, compression, encryption, topping with the feature of the support file filter policy controls. So I'm on my QTS desktop and I'm going to go to the control panel. And under the applications, you will see a backup station. You'll click on that and you will have to enable the RTRR server just by clicking on the box right here and enter your password. It's the same thing as your QTS desktop password. And hit apply and OK. And after that, you will go to the left hand side. There's remote replication tab and you can see RTRR and let's create a replication job you'll see the wizard will pop up and hit next and you will have three options the first one is the local folder to a remote folder the second one is remote folder to a local folder the third one is the local folder which I'm going to demo right now and just click on that and click next and you will select the folder that you like to sync so I'm gonna sync my multimedia folder and whatever folder I want to um, sync to I'll just click on it select it and destination folder would be another folder in the NAS I would put homes and when I click next it'll show me this page that I select real time or scheduled. And you can see there are a lot of options. So when you click next, you will see that it has it wants me to write a name and click next again. And it has started. So when I click finish, you will see in the background tasks it will show that the job has started. And you can see the status over here. So it's going at 6% already. Okay, so I'm gonna create another. So I'm gonna create another job, and I'm gonna click next and select the first one, which is my local folder to a remote folder. I'm gonna enter in my IP address of the NAS, and when I enter it, and I have to hit put my password as well, and after that, I will click next, and this will show me the local folder, which I want to sync the test one and this is my other NAS so I'm gonna hit homes and I will sync and schedule and I'm gonna select weekly every Monday 4 o'clock and when I click this box right here it'll let me configure all my backup policies and filters and I hit next and it'll allow me to set my settings and you can see there are a lot of options um, right here, it will show me if I were to sync what type of files I would like to do or exclude the files such as uh, videos and also the file size. 
So you can actually make it very personalized. And when you click next, it will start the replication job. And you can see right here, it will show me two jobs that I have just configured. And that's it for now. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or comment. Thank you.